It is Friday, June 21st. This is a special meeting of the Northampton Energy and Sustainability Commission. Um, I guess we will call the roll. Deb Clemmer. Here. Uh, Pat McCarthy. Here. Tim Smith. Here. Carolyn Mish. Present. And Marissa Elkins is connecting to audio. So we've got we've got more than what we need. Yes. Hi, Marissa Elkins. We are calling the roll. Uh, Marissa Elkins. <laughs> uh, she may not hear us yet. Um, but it well, no, I guess it's important. Right. Here, yeah. here, Hi, I'm Marissa. here. Excellent. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So uh, we have a request to use funds from the Energy and Sustainability Fund to uh, contract with Current Energy. And Gabriella Fox has crunched the numbers and will share her screen and, and give you the information. <laughs> uh, hold on. I think I need to make you co-host. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that could. Um, yep. Uh, let me see if I can do that, Gabriella Fox. Okay, I just did it, so you should oh, be you, on that. You did. Oh, Great. yeah. Yep, it works. Okay, you can see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, great. All right. So, um, so, yeah, so we started noticing that um Florence Field was not producing as much um as it as it should be. Um so first we calculated the total cost per kilowatt hour. Uh so we had the total national grid distribution cost at 0 0.13831 dollars per kilowatt hour plus our supply cost um and power options is our supplier um and they charge 0 0.1107 dollars per kilowatt hour so we just added those we got a total of 0 0.24901 dollars and then we calculated the expected yearly generation uh so Florence Field is an 18 kilowatt AC system um or 19.8 kilowatts DC um and then we used a PV watts calculator um which uses the DC so we found that the 19.8 kilowatts DC system should produce 24,782 kilowatt hours per year. Then we calculated um, the generated kilowatt hours with no repair. So as of right now, Florence Field produces roughly 12 kilowatts AC at peak uh, per day, or 13.2 kilowatts DC. So then we use this PV watts calculator uh, and we found that the 13.2 kilowatts should produce uh, 18,524 kilowatt hours per year. Any questions so far? Uh, just 16, not 18, but that. Oh, sorry, 16,524, yep. Um, so then we calculated the generation lost. So this is what um, it should be producing minus what it is producing. So we got a total of 8,258 kilowatt hours. So then we um, calculated the cost per kilowatt hours for savings. Um, so this was that number we just calculated, um, 8,258 kilowatt hours generation lost times that first number we calculated 0 0.24901 total cost um, in dollars per kilowatt hour. So we got $2,056. Uh, so then we calculated the payback period with um, assuming like a $10,000 upfront cost. So we just did $10,000 minus that $2,056.32, and we got a 4.86 years uh, for the payback period. Um, and then lastly, so we calculated the most uh, we could spend to have payback in seven years. So we had, uh, so we did 2056.32, which was the cost per kilowatt hours for savings times seven years. So we got $14,394.27. And so because of this payback period of 4.86 years, um, 
we think that fixing this Florence Field array would be worth the money. Um, and yeah, there is a breakdown. I'm not sure, Ben, do you want me to go into the breakdown or do you want to go to the breakdown for the cost for the diagnostic tests and everything? Um, sure, share, share the breakdown for the diagnostics. Okay, so we do have like, um, so the diagnostic test is going to be about $2,000, I believe. Um, and we have a past bill of about $2,000, a little less than $2,000. Um, so yeah, we should be getting a quote. Um, we already got received a quote um, from Current Energy and it, current, um, sorry, the from the current installer. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, and so it will not exceed $8,000. So yeah, um, so that's what we have so far. And yeah. And what I would add is it seems unlikely that the repair would cost the full, uh, uh, if, if we take the 2000 we've already spent and 2000 that would be required to do the diagnostics, leave, uh, leaving uh, whatever that's 6,000 potentially uh, available if we did the full um, uh, the, the authorization up to $10,000, $10, we've gotten indications that it should not cost anywhere near there like that we're we're talking much more like one, uh, one or two thousand more dollars to actually do the repair um but we thought it might be prudent to say what what is the amount up to which we should authorize um so i guess i would open it for discussion and you could probably unshare your screen i don't know oh yeah thank you so much Ben, I have a question. Um, so that, um, you know, if we spend the maximum amount, you're saying that would be a, uh, I mean, that it's not going to be that much. And then we will continue to get credits off of this every year, or is that factored into the payback? The, the payback is the credits that we that we are not getting now that we will okay. get if we repair it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So the payback would be faster, obviously, if it's less. Right. So, you know, so if it's if it's a two thousand dollars additional cost uh, and and, uh, and what we're missing is two thousand some hundred or whatever it was that Gavi shared um you know that our payback is one year um right. Right. so you know roughly if we're doing rough numbers basically if if, if, if for every every two thousand dollars adds a year uh longer payback <laughs> deb yeah <clears throat> this system's going to last many many years so we should i mean it seems like it's worth fixing it to continue to get the additional funds every year because we're just losing money by having the panels not work or whatever's wrong with it, correct? That, that is my opinion too. Uh, uh, Councillor Elkins. But you you, sig you've got, you got the signal that my hand was up with unmute. Um, I would move to approve. Oh, I'm sorry, say it again. <laughs> I would move to approve. Okay, so we have a motion to approve. I second it. Second. It's seconded by uh, uh, City Councilor Clemmer uh, and Pat McCarthy. Uh, so I guess I will call the vote on it. Uh, uh, Pat McCarthy. Yes. Carolyn Mish. Carolyn, can you hear me? Maybe we'll come back to Carolyn. Tim Smith. Yes. Louis Hasbrook. Yes. Uh, Marissa Elkins. I, I I thought about abstaining, but I think I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Councillor Clemmer. Yes. Uh, uh, Carolyn Mish texted yes, and I'm reading that aloud. <laughs> <laughs> uh Ben Weil, yes. Uh so the motion is approved. Uh do we have to actually vote to adjourn or can we just mm -hmm. say that that vote to approval was a vote to adjourn? I, I just want to say too, Ben, thank and 
Gabby, just thanks for, you know, being so diligent in finding this uh, money that we're just uh, not getting, which is sitting there. So I appreciate your hard work and thoroughness. We thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I second that. Um, okay, so do I have to call the roll to vote to adjourn? I think I do, don't I? I think so. Okay, so um, motion to adjourn? Uh, I Okay, we got some people saying, two people said yes, I'll call that a, a motion and a second. <laughs> um, so I'll call the roll again. Pat McCarthy. Yes. Tim Smith. Yes. Louis Hasbrook. Yes. Carolyn Mish. Yes. Marissa Elkins. Yes. Deb Clemmer. Yes. Ben Weil. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, meeting is adjourned. Thank you guys so much uh, for doing this short notice thing. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Ben. Right, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thank you.